Or the YouTube, how's it going? Different direction of the video. Um, so, the days of escapades. I was going to do a video on this. This is a Ninja Axis uh, base. So, I traded this maybe about a year ago for a Bronco <clears throat> and I've, since I got it I always thought there was something wrong with the neck uh, it played fine when I first got it it was fine it just wasn't I couldn't I couldn't get it set up the way I like it <clears throat> so I thought it was an issue and today I found out what the problem was so I don't know if you can see try and get that so you can see it can you see that the end of the fretboards just popped off the neck now <clears throat> I've got guitars like that one that's 1980s it was March 1980 that was bomb uh, and there's plenty of life in the trust road with this once this happened, I pulled all the trust on all that out. Uh, there's there's no travel left in the trust rod whatsoever. Uh, what I mean by that is, <coughs> just had a pencil there. So just draw a wee diagram here. So that there is rough, it's crude drawn there, a uh, truss rod, but the rod that runs through your neck, it's got the adjuster here, which is the bit at the top of your neck, it's got a square block which is notched into your neck, so when you tighten it, you're twisting this rod, but and that's what, once you put the string, you've got string tension in your neck which gives you uh, relief as you tighten it it straightens the neck back to obviously uh, compensate for the string tension with that that isn't a full threaded rod it's only threaded about a half inch or an inch at the top and bottom so I've took out the, the adjuster at the top that actually started to take out the full rod which means it was stuck so I could see but I could actually if you look down there's an actual wee window where they put the block in at the bottom of the heel I could see that the, the threaded rod was coming out then I could see when I put it back in how far the rod how far the threads went it's only about an inch maybe an inch and a maybe an inch I think maybe a half inch and it's about an inch at the top as well because when I started taking it, it took the whole rod, started taking the whole rod out. So the whole rod has went its full travel. So there's name the adjustment, it's went as far as it went. So what I did was, because I knew this was this problem was happening, so what I did was was I took I jammed and held the rod at the bottom. So I took the neck off, held the rod at the bottom and took the adjuster out all together I took a, f a ferrule or one of the bolts for an acoustic guitar cut the nut on, end off it slid it on top of the rod and put the adjuster back on and started to tighten it up so I got the strings on, everything <clears throat> and then reset the neck and I've started to get tension I've started to bring the neck back because the neck was bone like that got it so far then the next thing I heard was a pop and then this happened now I traded I traded this for a Bronco and, and I'm no and I'm for, not for one second did I think of who was a trade this is nothing to do with him nothing to do with him at all because he literally only had this guitar for a day uh, he, he picked it up I seen it on uh, 
Facebook or Gumtree. And he did what he normally does, beats me to a guitar. So I phoned up for the guitar to buy it. The person said not, it's already gone. Within an hour, the video went up with him playing it. <coughs> so I messaged him and I said to him, I'll swap you a Bronco for this. So he literally only had it for a day, so it was nothing to do with him. And if you know anything about guitars, for, for a guitar to use its full travel of a trust rod takes years. Or somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. And the guy who got this off, he definitely knows what he's doing, so it's not him. It definitely wasn't him, so I don't blame him whatsoever for this. That's nothing to do with him. But it brings me to the point of a when you go to buy a guitar, a second hand guitar, a, you you need to kinda of know know what you're doing and what you're buying. Because if you buy if you, you can buy a, a second hand guitar and it, it could be, it could have problems like this. So don't be scared to take a, an Allen key with you, a couple of Allen keys for checking the trust rod, uh, and just check the guitar over. Because you could, be, you, you could be somebody out there that that knows that the trust rod's knackered and then sell it with a knackered trust rod. Uh, as I say, I'll stay again. Nothing to do with who I got the guitar off of. Nothing to do with him because I don't think for one minute he knew to that. If he knew that that trust rod was knackered, he would not have sold the guitar. He probably wouldn't even bought the guitar in the first place. Uh, as I said, he, had, he didn't. He, I don't think he had it for a, a, a day when I, when I texted him and asked him to swap for the Bronco. So I don't hold him. Nothing to do with him. But, as I said as well, it takes a long time for you to use the full length of travel for your trust rod. A long time. I've got 70s, 80s guitars. Uh, my mates have got 70s, 80s guitars. So I've got 60 guitars that still have to use the full length of travel. So just be, just be around. So this is a project that's going to happen. But as I said, when I, when I bought it, I kind of knew it probably needed a new neck anyway. I just tried to avoid getting it because of the headstock matching the body but just looks like I'm going to have to do it so then talking about buying second hand guitars <clears throat> this is another one of the guitars because I like to show guitars that you don't have to spend a lot of money you get a good instrument especially when you're starting it or even just a guitar for messing about with I got this guitar maybe about a year and a half ago and I think I've only paid about 20 quid for it <coughs> Uh, so it's still got the original pickups, original pots, original jack. The only thing, original machine heads, the only thing I changed was the nut because I, I, had, I actually had this as an 8 string guitar and the bridge. So the bridge is set, I like it, but 8 strings to this no problem. I've still got the nut for it as well and I've got the machine heads. <coughs> but the neck was just too thin to take it, it just, I just couldn't get the thing straight, it was going to end up just snapping the way that it did, so I just put it all back to a four string, could be a five string, I think it would support five strings, just not, uh, just not eight, too much tension, but it's a, it's a strange guitar list, because I've never had a four string jan a P bass like this, it's got a really wide, and wide string spacing, so that's why when I bought it I thought, Make an extra, but uh, back to four. <coughs> it's strange playing this going for a normal four string to this. It's strange, uh, but it's, it's nice. So, tones are away up, volumes are away up. Playing through my uh, BH250 4 by 12 that I made myself. So So it's a, 
it's a dead deep bassy and that's a strange uh, bassy that's bassy as sounds right in it. Uh, so it brings to another point eh? Somebody asked me the other day why have I got so many P bases? They all sound different. They definitely all sound different. <coughs> uh, think about basic P bases, not to go including my, my PJ bass. I've got that's a P bass. Uh, I've got this. And I've got a red P bass, an aqua blue P bass, and a, a black one that I thought was. And they all sound different, they've all got different styles of necks as well. The black one's got a slightly a proper P bass neck, the aqua one's got a jazz style neck on it, quite thin. Uh, fretboards are different. I mean, it's, it's, it's they, they all sound different, they all sound different. So, aye, it's uh, quite cool. So, aye, this is another good bass for cheap. Uh, Especially if you if you don't you know really want to if you're just getting in here or you want to try a different style of bass. So if you've got a jazz bass you want to try a P bass, the point of paying a lot of money for a P bass when you can get one to try it to see if you like the sound. But then the sound would be different, so then it's it's strange. And not all guitars sound the same as well. I mean I've got I've got a the Duff McKagan I call it Duff McKagan Squire. My mate's got the exact same guitar and it sounds totally different. Uh, or before I did anything to it, we both we bought, we bought one the exact same time. <clears throat> he bought the PJ itself, I bought it in out. <clears throat> so it's just, I think mine's made in Indonesia, his is made in, ah, his made in Indonesia as well, or China. China has made it. It sounds totally different. Totally different. I've got another mate who's got one the exact same as mine. It's Indonesia, and I think it's all maybe like three seal numbers there difference. Uh, and it sounds totally different. Before I didn't, that was before I did it into it. So, it is. All guitars sound different. So, everybody asks me for an excuse why so many, they all sound different. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Careful when you're buying guitars, your trust roads and stuff. As I said, I can't I can't express this enough. This is nothing. This is nothing. I don't. My uncle's got nothing to do with this. Uh, as I said, he only, he literally only had the guitar for a day, and then I got it off him. So, and it takes a lot of time for the trust road to use all its travel. What I might do is. Is when I get a new neck for this, <coughs> I might strip the fretboard off this and show you the, the fret, the truss rod, because there's no way this is done over a long period of time. This this has not just been done in a day, a week, even a year. What's happened to this truss rod has happened since basically since the day either it's been a dodgy truss rod that's been put in the guitar at the factory which is very doubt, or whoever's had this from you has cranked on that that much, he's took up all his travel. I mean, I, I see an inch either side, that's a lot of travel, do you know what I mean? And you're trust, you shouldn't be cranking on a trust rod all the time to tighten it. You should be loosening it off and tightening it up. You shouldn't just be cranking it, up, cranking it all the time. So, yeah. If you've ever got any issues with your trust rod, my advice would be, if you're changing the strings, is just to loosen it off and then reset the guitar up. Uh, but once you've set a guitar up with the, the strings that you use all the time, 
mean all the ones that I use uh, Rotal Sounds on I mean the setup doesn't have to be done all the time uh, because the strings are the guitar set up to take these strings so you might just need to do wee adjustments every every wee while but you shouldn't have to, this should not happen uh, so yeah just be careful if you go to buy a second hand guitar I would advise taking Alan Key's wee try the, try the truss rod just get a wee wiggle if you can't get any movement on it I would think twice about buying it because but I obviously didn't I didn't check this <coughs> uh, so there you go but as I said I do not hold Malco responsible because he said he had it for a day and if he knew that this truss rod was knackered he would not have sold it and he probably wouldn't have bought it anyway so it's just been one of the things so look after yourselves uh, and speak to you soon righty